Welcome to More Than Mindset, the only podcast that bridges the gap between spirituality and success. Go beyond the mind with clarity and confidence coach Kim Guillory and learn how to integrate your passion to serve with your skills and experience to create a business you love. Let's get started. Hey, hey, hey. how you doing out there? Listen here, got it going on at my house. I have six puppies. It's kind of crazy. They're not mine. They kind of look like some little gremlins. My son found them under his house right before he was leaving to go to work. (laughs) So they couldn't stay there. They were abandoned by their mother, obviously. They were old enough to give away, but he saw one come up from under the steps and he's like, what the heck is that? And then here comes another one and another one. And the video was so cute. They would not stop coming out. And it was like, he never knew they were living under his house. Now they look like they're around five or six weeks. So they're for sure ready to be given away. They're eating food. They're kind of skinny. So we are rescuing puppies this week. Not happy in my husband's head. (laughs) He's like, listen, you guys feel bad for the puppies but I have the problem. This is what we do. We want to judge the people, right? Because you shouldn't be so mean and you shouldn't dump your puppies and you shouldn't, you know, do this stuff and you shouldn't whatever, you know, we have all these rules, these manuals for people and their puppies. But when it comes to who's going to be the one to do it, like he kind of called us out and I have to say guilty as charged. I did not want to see about it. I'm not the one who has to get up at five o'clock in the morning when it's freezing cold and see about them. Anyway, that's my little rant for (laughs) right now. I think I'm right on target for what I'm going to be talking about today, which is manifesting. Guys, I got a little bone to pick with you. So here's what's up. My friend told me, she said, I think you manifested those puppies because you were saying how there's nothing better than puppies and babies, puppies and babies. And we have these two brand new babies. She's like, and now you have all of the puppies. (laughs) Kind of true, right? Anyway, let's talk about this. I am just returning from my mastermind event in Atlanta, which was amazing. 30 coaches, 30 life coaches in a room masterminding. We have beast brains. (laughs) It was brilliant. So fun, amazing ideas, feeling all inspired, feeling all of the feels, super clear, ready to dive in for the next six months and make it happen because we make it happen by doing. And that is why I want to compare that to what I have been hearing. And I want to talk about it here. I think this is super important. So when I say we had 30 women in a room making things happen, like tools, processes, techniques, procedures, like learning skills, and then growing those muscles, even the belief muscle, right? Selling muscles, like copywriting muscles, business muscles, like using strategy and growing the ability to do it better, getting really super clear and dialed in on exactly what we do and who we serve and coming up with amazing content, value, assets, so that we can serve to a greater capacity, all right? So that is what we did at the Mastermind. We create results on purpose. Now I wanna compare this to some of the things I have been hearing. This has been going on for a few weeks. It's really been brought to my attention since I started talking more to the killer focused businesses. And I'm like, this is kind of fascinating. I think there's a connection here. So the biggest problem is charging value, worth, whatever for the services. So when I'm talking to someone in the healing based business, whether it's gut health or spiritual health, right? There's this, if I'm helping them heal, like I must be a doctor or Jesus in order like for it to be valuable, which is insane. But I know where it comes from. I understand it. But this is what I want to tell you. You guys, 
the reason that you want to wait to tell me if you want to do the coaching is because you want to go and manifest the money or more clients. I think this is super interesting because the way the brain works, when you go to think about it, you're going to go to think about the reasons why it says no. That's just the way it is. That's the way us humans function. So I tell my clients this, I tell consultations this when they call and they're like, oh, I really like, I need to think about it and I need to go manifest the money and I need to go get some clients. And I'm like, listen, if you knew how to go and make the money, if you had the skill set, right? If you had the ability to sell, like if you really understood a technique and you knew how to overcome objections, and you had some sort of a process, like if you learned the skill of selling, the way some of these gals, I'll say, are describing manifesting, it's as if like the car is parked on the side of the road and they're waiting for someone to come and put the gas. When there is a gas station across the street, now they can just stop at the gas station and put their own gas probably get there a lot quicker and know how to help themselves when the tank is empty instead of stopping again and waiting for it to come to them or waiting for it to happen for them or whatever, right? It's almost like an entitlement. Like if I just sit here and believe strongly enough or deeply enough, then it's going to just come to me and I don't have to do anything. I just have to believe. Guys, I am telling you, you learn the skill set, like truly learn how to sell, how to serve, how to solve problems, then you will never be waiting on anyone again. Not yourself, not the person to come put the gas, not the consultation that just lands in your lap or in your email suddenly, and you're not sure where they came from. You would actually know how to produce the traffic, the clients, the money, the consults, the conversions. Does that make sense? I want to make sure I'm super clear about this. When you are waiting to manifest, I'm talking, some of you, you think this is like active manifesting. You're waiting for it to happen for you or to you. There's probably a lot of buffering going on, right? It's like spinning in drama, in thinking, in worrying, doing anything not to feel the discomfort of taking action. This is super important because what's happening is you are believing outside of yourself. You're waiting on luck, like waiting for the results to prove that you are doing something. And what happens is if you actually get some results from that, What's happening unconsciously is like, there's this story like, oh yeah, but that was a fluke. I see this guys. I see this all the time. You'll do a little bit of work. You'll kind of put yourself out there and you're like crickets, nothing's happening. And then a few days later, someone trickles in through private message, through email. Maybe you'll just meet up with them somewhere. Oh, I've been meaning to call and they are like ready. You think it's because it just like, fell in your inbox. What you're not giving credit to is the work that you were doing prior to. They were on their way. They were coming already. We just quit before they actually appear. And then in the quitting phase, when you're buffering and drama or whatever, if they happen to come through, then there's this, oh, I wasn't doing anything. I just manifested that, right? And then this imposter syndrome comes through. I see this with people who earn a hundred thousand dollars. Must have been a fluke. Not sure how it happened. And guess what? I was one of them. (laughs) That's how I know this. This It's super interesting how the brain works. Like I for sure was doing my work and I had this podcast going. I was putting posts out. I was, and at the time, I don't even think it was this podcast, but I for sure had, like I was doing posts and I was doing some live events and, you know, I was like sharing all the goods. I was offering value. I was showing it for people. I was like teaching concepts and 
I was getting consultations or actually I was getting signups because I'm very good at sales. And so they were converting rather quickly. And then suddenly I'm looking and it's like, whoa, where did all this come from? How did this happen? It must've been a fluke. And it's almost this imposter syndrome, like that just happened to happen. How can I do it again? And then not being able to go backwards and replicate it. That's how you know that you actually didn't have a system or a structure and you're just like kind of casting you know, and just seeing what you grab, that's fine for a while. But what will happen is when you seriously want to turn this into a business and you want to turn on that influx of business, like you want to turn the faucet on and you want to have traffic coming through, you won't be able to do it. That's why it's so important and why I want to talk about it today. So I'm going to give you some things to take away. I should have said that whenever I first started is I'm going to tell you three things that you need to know. And I'm going to tell you three things that you need to do. The point I want to get across is what you're calling manifesting. A lot of you, I have at least, I'm going to say in the last couple of weeks, I've probably talked to six people who said this and I was like, fascinating. And then I'm at the mastermind group with 30 women. We made a total of $6 million in 2019. Okay. There ain't no manifesting happening up in that room. We are working. (laughs) We know what we're doing. We have strategy and system, and it's not hard. We can do it very easily the same way that manifesting happens, but we know how we did it so we can do it again. And that is what I want to talk to you about. We know how we did it so we can do it again. If you're sitting on the side of the road and someone just happens to pull over and they happen to have gas, they happen to be able to empty the little tank for you or whatever. Like, how are you going to do that again? How are you going to be in the same exact place, same exact time and have this nice friendly person stop at that time when you need them again, right? Compared to you just driving up at the gas station, putting in your credit card, getting the gas that you need. There's a big difference between the two. All right. So instead of how to manifest, learn how to see the problem, find the solution, sell and serve. That is going to give you consistent traffic clients revenue. And that is the foundation for a business. So as promised, let me talk to you about the three things that you need to know. You need to know who you are, what you do, and how you do it. So that's the who, what, how. You need to know who you are, and what you offer. And you need to know what you are offering and to who. And you need to know how to deliver it. You need to believe all three levels of belief. It's not just a thought that you make up, but you truly believe that it's possible, that you're worthy to receive, that it can happen, (laughs) right? That this is like the definition of belief, right? And then you have to have some sort of system strategy or container to deliver those goods in. It's almost like you have to have this vehicle to be able to get this to this. Like you have to have that in between that bridge. So you have to know who, what, how. You have to believe. And then you have to have some sort of system strategy structure. So three things that you seriously like just foundation of business. So the who, what, how is basically who you are as this business person, who you are as the professional. What is your unique positioning? Like what quantifies you? Like skilled are even unique in this positioning of why they should choose you. And what is it you offer? What is it that you solve? Like, what are they looking for? What is their problem? And how do you give them the solution? Is it a weekly coaching? Is it a program? Is it something that's downloaded? Is like, how do you get it to them? And then the belief part, like, here's the thing about belief. You must believe to be able to receive. You have to have the confidence in believing that you can do it. And you know, belief is tricky. It's not just about saying you want or changing a thought. There's a bit more strategy and skill involved. In order to create desired results, 
you have to be in full belief, even if it's just momentarily, because if it's momentarily, you'll be able to grow it. I've talked about this before in some of the past episodes. Anytime you can believe and feel it in your body, then you're in this creation mode. You're in the vibration of creating. And as soon as you begin to doubt, you get further away from the results. So this is for sure a process. This is the part of the law of attraction that is so often misunderstood. You can see how it starts with the thought, but the actions ultimately lead with your feelings. So if you don't believe, and I'm talking like if you can't feel it, what you're thinking is real or true, then your actions won't come from a place of believing. The thing about taking action from disbelief, like in other words, when you can't feel the belief, is that you're going to create from lack rather than creating from abundance. And you don't want to create more of what you don't want. You don't want to create from a place of lack. This is how so many people stay stuck and we keep repeating history. The beauty of learning about all three levels of belief is that you create from your future self. And the hardest part is losing the old identity so that you can become the new. It's that place where it's uncomfortable, it's unfamiliar, it's scary, it's unpredictable. And that's only because the mind hasn't experienced it yet. So it can't really imagine what's going on or what's going to happen. And it freaks the F out. The mind can only imagine what it has to compare to. In other words, what it has already experienced. And it kind of freaks out if it can't do that. This is when coaching is really helpful. The coach can help you manage your mind and emotions while holding the belief until the results actually arrive. It's the process that I use to believe. I do this every single morning. It's like pulling weeds and planting seeds. So I pull up what I don't want to grow, and then I plant new seeds. And then I nurture those seeds so that they grow after the weeds are gone. So here we go. You ready? Belief comes in three stages. The first one is you logically think about it. The second, you emotionally drop into the feeling of the possibility. So you want to feel it all the way through. And then feeling the results of already having done it. And then you want to take action from their appreciation and gratitude of already doing it. So that's the three layers. One, you think about it, think about it, think about it. Okay. And then you feel it. And then you feel it so much so that you begin to take steps. You take action from that belief. It looks like receiving an advance, letting go of knowing how and just allowing it to come. So that's that manifesting part where that allowing it to come. But you can see the work that happened beforehand. It wasn't just, oh, I have a thought and I'm just going to let it come. Can you see what I'm saying? Like you logically think about it, then you emotionally drop into it. And then you feel into those results in appreciation, gratitude, and then you allow. Okay. And all that without the needing to know exactly how. So all three steps are important. Thoughts create feelings. Feelings drive actions. Actions create results. That is how you manifest, my friend. That is how you create on purpose. That is how you believe. So I have a little exercise for you. Write down, what do I want to create? So just write it down. Maybe it's five clients. Maybe it's $2,000. Maybe it's $10,000. Maybe it's a new full-time job. Maybe it's just more intimacy in your relationship. Just what do I want to create? Be very specific. And on the next line, just put number two. What do you think about that? Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's impossible? Do you think it's going to be hard? And then how does it feel when you think that thought? Like that is impossible. Yep, it'd be great if I could. Wouldn't that be wonderful? (laughs) Like whatever the thought is, I want you to write down what is the feeling? How do I feel when I think that thought? And then if it's like discouraged hopeless, disappointed, like think about what action you'll take from that feeling. Because remember, the feeling drives the action. So what action will I take when I feel that way? And then imagine you doing that action over and over and over, what's the result that you get? So that was kind of on the negative side, but let's do it from the other side. So it's like, what do you want to create? Say it's two clients. 
What do you think about that? And you're like, I would love to help them. How does it feel when you think that thought? Like, amazing. I feel inspired, fulfilled. Like, I love helping people. And in what action do you take when you're feeling inspired or motivated? You're like, I get out there and I tell people what I do. And then what results do you get? If you tell enough people what you do, you will get clients. Okay. So this takes me to the next part. So you remember I told you that there's three things that you need to know. And then there's three things that you need to do. So the three things you need to know is the who, what, how. You need to know. And then you need to know how you're going to deliver that. Now, the three things that you need to do. Get ready. Get your paper and pen. (laughs) You need to get in front of people, like either on social media or in public. And you need to tell stories. You need to share value, examples, experiences, even your experiences. You need to connect with more people who relate to the topic, right? What is the thing that you're serving? Get in front of those people. Join groups. Do some meetups. Maybe you'll find them in a yoga class. Maybe you'll find them in the gym, like find out where they're at and meet them, meet them where they are. Number two, tell them what you do in a very clear, concise way. Like as if you were talking to an eighth grader, very simple, little words. (laughs) It's like, don't try to tell them a paragraph. And in that languaging, describe their problem better than they can and cast a picture of their future, what it will look like after they work with you. That's number two. Tell them in a very clear, concise way using eighth grade language, describing their problem better than they can and casting a picture of what it will look like once they work with you. Number three, offer to help solve their problem by giving value and results in advance. Make one simple offer. Don't get complicated, guys. Keep it really simple and repeat consistently as they get to know, like, and trust you. It may take some time. They may buy on the spot, but it may take some time. And helping them get results just by being an example of it, by being it yourself. Does that make sense? I hope you wrote these things down. If not, they'll be in the show notes. I could step up my game here and actually have documents for this. Let me work on that. Matter of fact, send an email to kilmitkilmgilry.com if you want the worksheets on what I just described to you, because I do have that and I can send it to you. (laughs) So that is what I have for you this week, guys. Stop with the manifesting mumbo jumbo. I want you to really listen to what you're saying when you say, I'm going to manifest it. Exactly what does that mean? Tell me, tell me what that means. Write it down and ask yourself how many times you say that And then what are the results from it? So have you manifested thus far, right? What have you created through the waiting for the manifestation to come through? Because let me tell you something, those 30 women, that $6 million, there was not much waiting happened. Now there was a lot of mismanaged minds. We had a lot of drama going on, but we didn't stop taking action. You have to take action and you got to quit buying into that this is supposed to be easy. Hell no, it's not supposed to be easy. This kind of sucks. But you know what sucks worse? It's not doing what you really want to do. That sucks bad. That's where I'm so passionate about this because I spent those years like just basically dying to serve, begging people to take advantage of me. I was trying to give my work away to prove that it had some value. I was scared to death to charge. I believed all of their stories, their scarcity stories. And then they were buying all kind of other crazy stuff. Like even in fitness, I had like, I know all of you can relate to this. Their minds are presenting these crazy stories and they're believing them. And as a coach, we can show them that there's another way, you know, like (laughs) I'm starting to get fired up here. It's getting hot in the room. Let me slow down and back up. There is nothing worse than being bored, unfulfilled, unsatisfied, and not growing. And that is my honest truth. Kim's truth, capital T. That's my honest truth is I was miserable. 
It is so much funner, even though this is challenging, like even coming up with a new podcast topic every week or not knowing, you know, is anyone going to like this? Is anyone going to respond? Is, you know, should I make this workbook? Should I put this out there? What if I put that post? What if I do a Facebook ad and it doesn't work? What if I spend all of that money and it never results in anything? All of that stuff. Like guys, all of that is just drama. You know what matters? Numbers. What can you count at the end of the day? How many times did I offer? How many people came through? who responded, who paid, who didn't. Like actual factual numbers. That's what you need to work on. And it's the same thing with manifesting. Quit sitting on the side of the road, waiting for someone to come and put air in your tires or gas in your tank. Get your butt to the station, put it yourself. You know what to do. It's inside of you. That is what you are seeking. That is what you want. You want to express, to create, to connect, and to contribute. Every one of us want to do that because that is the human experience. Don't miss out on it. Half of it's going to feel like ass and that's okay. It's fine. You'll have the contrast to compare and you'll know when you're in it so that you can remind yourself how to get out of it. That's how it works. We try some things, we fall down, we get back up. Did you ever see a kid that quit walking? No, they all get back up because they have courage, confidence, belief. That is what I'm trying to teach you here. Listen, I have the new mind, body, business mastery coming up. And I don't even know what I'll call it yet. It's a program, but actually it's me mentoring you in your business. A very simple strategy, just like what I shared with you today. There's nothing. It's not all icky money, like businessy yuck kind of stuff. This is like the tangible, viable, usable, practical, simple. This is how I do things. I want to teach you how to step into your role as business owner or entrepreneur or healer, whatever you call yourself. I want to help you step into that role and serve more people and make money doing it. Be responsible, support yourself, learn how to turn on the flow of abundance, learn how to turn off traffic, learn how to turn it back on, be in control of the flow of the money that comes through your business instead of waiting to see, instead decide and do. Like you just make a decision, you sell yourself on it, and then you sell other people on it. It's that simple. Anyway, If you want to be part of that, I take a very small group. I have 10 spots. I take a very small group and I work with you. Dial it in. You have a guaranteed return on investment. I promise you, you will make back plus. That is something that I'm super passionate about. I really don't want people just giving me money and then not getting results. It's not fun for me. It's surely not fun for them. And at this point in the game, most of the clients come to me have been through so many certifications. They've, you know, even like myself going from cosmetologist to health coach, to life coach, to yoga teacher, massage therapist, hypnot- I mean, I've done all of the things. Okay. <laughs> it's, and a lot of you have too. I've even come across a lot of health coaches who started off as cosmetologists. And I'm like, this is fascinating. We are just the people's people. Anyway, I understand that you're coming in with a story And it's super important to me that you really finally get this done. And once you learn how to make that first $10,000, I promise you, it's going to be so much easier. It's getting that first 10 grand under your belt. And I'm super committed to helping you do that. And you're also become part of the community with a lot of high minded entrepreneurs who are also doing the same thing. It's a beautiful collaboration group that we have going. So what it looks like is you work with me one-on-one. The quicker you sign up before the actual start date, you have more one-on-one time with me. So we want to really dial in, look at your business and see where we can, you know, kind of tighten it up, get really clear on your messaging and get yourself out there. We're going to be opening registration in February. The actual start day will be in March, but you already start working with me previous to that. You can literally make your money back before we ever get started with the group. and. I want to invite you, just email me, Kim at KimGilroy.com and say, I'm interested in learning more about the mind body business. And I'm going to be doing a lot of mentoring in there. And then I'm going to be coaching your brains like crazy. I will have a form that you have to fill out because I really only want to work with those who are serious about it because I am guaranteeing that you will make some things happen. And so I want to make sure that you're all in also. All right. Till next time. Thanks for listening to this episode of More Than Mindset. 
If you're feeling stuck on your journey to health, wealth, and relationships, head over to www.portal.kimgillary.com to learn more about the portal. It's a membership community where we take this work deeper, apply the concepts, and coach around the tough stuff.